Hello everyone, it's me, Uncle John. Today, I am going to read S3, 3002, Nine Stories About People by D. H. Howe. The Purse Two friends went for a walk. On the road, they saw a purse. There was a lot of money in it. One of the men picked it up. I have, I have a purse full of money, he said, and put it in his pocket. Don't say I, say we, said his friend. It is our purse, not yours. No, said his friend. I saw it first. It's my purse. I'm going to keep it. Then a man ran up to them. That is my purse, he said. I saw you. You are a thief. I am going to get a policeman. Oh dear, said the first man to the second man. What shall we do? Don't say we, say I, said his friend. You picked up the purse, not I. Always help your friends. The Foolish Wives Long ago, there was a man with two wives. One of them was young. She had long black hair. The other was old. Her hair was white. The man was not young and he was not old. Some of his hair was black and some of it was white. They were all very happy, but the young wife thought, My husband is older than I am. His hair is gray. But my hair is black. And the older wife thought, My husband is younger than I am. His hair is gray, but my hair is white. They did not say anything, but they decided to do something. Every day after dinner, the man had a little sleep. First, his old wife came to him and pulled out some black hair. That's much better, she said. I am making your hair white and beautiful. Then she went away. Then the young wife came. She pulled out some white hair. That's much better, she said. I'm making your hair black and beautiful. They did this for many weeks. One day, the husband woke up. My head is cold, he said. He touched his head. I have no hair, he said. There was not one hair on his head. We cannot please everyone. The two friends. One day, two friends walked along, along a road. There was some trees near the road. A big bear came out of the trees and ran at the two men. The first man did not think about his friend. He ran to a tree and climbed up it. He sat on a branch high above the ground. The bear could not touch him there, but he was afraid. The other man did not have time to run to a tree. He lay down. He did not speak. He closed his eyes. The bear went to him and touched the man's face with its paw. The man was very quiet. The bear touched the man's nose, but the man did not open his eyes. The bear touched the man's mouth, but the man did not say anything. Then the bear put its nose near the man's nose, but the man did not turn his head. Then the bear put his nose near his man's left ear, but the man did not turn his head. At last, the bear went away. The man in the road waited for half an hour. Then he stood up and walked to the tree. You can come down now, he said. The bear is not here. His friend climbed down the tree. The bear uh, put its mouth very near to your ears, he said. What did it say to you? It did not say much, and the man. It said, the man of the tree ran away and did not try to help you. He is not a good friend. Choose your friends carefully. The two daughters. A man once had two daughters. 
The first daughter's husband was a gardener. The second daughter's husband made pots. One day, the man went to see his first daughter. How are you? he asked. How's your, how's your husband? Oh, we are very well, thank you, said the first daughter. But our garden is very dry. We want some rain for our flowers. On the same day, the man went to see his second daughter. How are you? he asked. How's your husband? Oh, we are very well, thank you, said the second daughter. Look at all these pots. Aren't they beautiful? My husband made them. They are drying in the sun. Then I am going to paint them. We do not want any rain. Pots do not dry in the rain. The father went back to his wife. How are our daughters? His wife asked him. They are very well, he said. I want my daughters and the husband to be happy. Can I do anything? His wife asked him. Well, said husband, it's very difficult. Ask God to send rain, but also ask God not to send rain. You cannot please everyone. The Rich Man and the Gold There was once a very rich man. He had three cars and two houses and many other things. One day, he said, I'm getting old. I'm going to sell everything and buy a big piece of gold. He sold his houses and his cars and everything and he bought a very big piece of gold. He dug a hole near a tree and he put the piece of gold into the hole. No one will find my gold here, he said. Every day he went back and dug up the gold. He looked at it and said, Good, my gold is there. Then he put the gold back into the hole, put the earth back on top of it. But one day, there was a man behind the tree. He was a thief and he was asleep. The rich man did not see the thief. He dug up the gold and looked at it. Good, he said, my gold is there. The thief woke up and looked round the tree. What's that man putting into the hole? He thought, I'm going to find out. The rich man put the gold back into the hole and went away. Then the thief went to the hole and dug up the gold. A big piece of gold, he said. It's my gold now. I am a rich man. He ran off with the gold and never came back. The next day, the first man came back and began to dig. He dug and he dug, but he did not find the gold. My gold is not here, he said. I'm not a rich man now. I have no gold. And he began to cry. Then he went home and told one of his friends. His friend said, don't cry. There's a big stone. Take it and put it in the hole. Then every day, you can go and dig it up and look at it. A piece of gold in a hole is no better than a stone. The Golden Axe A farmer and his wife once had a goose. Every day, it gave them a golden egg. Every night, they put it in the warm kitchen and gave it some food. Every morning, there was a golden Eggs shining on the floor. Every day, the farmer took an egg to the town and sold it. In the afternoon, he brought back the money. Slowly, the farmer and his wife became richer and richer. One day, the farmer's wife said to him, We are making a lot of money, my dear, but we are making it very slowly. Now, this is a very good goose. Every day, it gives us a golden egg. There are a lot of golden eggs in this goose. We're going to kill the goose and cut it open. Then we can have all the eggs and we shall be very rich. No, said the farmer. It's a good goose. I don't want to kill it. Every day it gives us a golden egg and slowly we're becoming a rich. We are becoming rich. Yes, said his wife. We are becoming rich slowly, but I want to become rich quickly. Let's kill it now. And then we can have all the golden eggs. Oh, very well, said the farmer and picked up his knife. He killed the goose and cut it open. But there were no golden eggs in the goose. 
Now we shall not become rich quickly or slowly, said the farmer. He and his wife were very sad. The moral of the story is don't be greedy. The lazy donkey. A man had three donkeys, but he wanted to buy another. He went to a donkey seller and said, Which is your best donkey? This one, said the donkey seller, and pointed to a donkey. Take it home with you and try it. Then come back and pay me, or bring back the donkey. Very well, said the man. The man took the new donkey home and showed it to the other three donkeys. One of them worked very hard all the time. He was never tired. Second donkey tried to work, but soon became tired and stopped. The third donkey was very lazy. It did very little work. The new donkey looked at the three donkeys for a minute. Then it went and stood by the lazy donkey and began to eat happily at its side. The man at once took it back to the donkey seller. Here's the donkey, she said. I'm not going to buy it. I don't want it. It is lazy. But you had it for only 10 minutes, said the donkey seller. You cannot know. Yes, I can, said the man. He chose a lazy donkey for a friend. He is lazy too. Look at a man's friends. Then you know the man. The farmer and the eagle. A farmer once caught an eagle. He did not keep it, he let it go. You are a beautiful bird, he said. I don't want to kill you, fly away. Eagles cannot speak, but the big bird thought, thank you very much, you are a good man. Some days later, the farmer worked hard all one morning. Then he had his hunch, lunch, and he had his lunch and went to sleep in the hot sun. There was a wall of big stones behind him. The farmer had a hat on his head. He did not see the eagle in the sky, but the eagle saw him. The eagle saw the wall too. Then the eagle flew down and took off the farmer's head. He put the head on the grass in front of the farmer. He woke up and shouted at the eagle. What are you doing? Where are you taking my head? I was good to you. I let you go and now you are stealing my head. Give it to me. He walked to the head, but the eagle picked it up and put it down three or four meters away. The farmer ran after it. Then he heard a loud noise. He looked back and saw the wall. It fell down. The farmer picked up his head and put it on his head. Thank you, he said to the eagle, and the eagle flew away. Oh, the moral of the story is always help others. The jar of sweets. One day, a woman said to her son, There are some sweets in the kitchen. They are in a jar. You can go and take some. The boy ran into the kitchen and found the jar of sweets. He put his hand into the jar and took a lot of sweets. Then he began to cry. I cannot get my hand out of the jar, he shouted. The neck of the jaw is too small. What can I do? Help me! His mother walked into the kitchen and looked at him. You are a foolish boy, she said. Your hand is full of sweets. Drop some. Then your hand can come out. Don't be greedy. The end. <laughs>